Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with some very interesting news with regards to the new FIA season on Gran Turismo Sport. So, yesterday we had a little bit of announcement you would have seen if you would have went on the game that the duration of FIA races will be extended and also the gap between races will have um, a slightly larger gap as well. Um, this is because they obviously planned on increasing the race distance something that we have probably moaned about more than once pretty much every video i've done I've been going on and on about it and it, one of the reasons why i've been doing it is because i wanted a better experience for everyone involved with gran turismo and i think it will add to the experience in terms of strategy and other elements you can see that the times of the day that the races will start has changed i believe it's 5 p.m for the first race in um, nations and that the last race at 20 past 10 um the only negative i can see from this is the final racing manufacturer being quite late however Let's have a little look at the new um, layout that we've got. We've got the Nations race up on the screen at the moment. 15 laps. Now, how good does that feel? We've gone from 8 laps to 15. Literally the perfect distance, I think, this is between 25 and 30 minutes in race length. You can see that the strategy element is going to be really strong here. I think there's going to be probably two, more than one strategy you could run at this combination. You see mediums and hards and times free fuel but times 10 tie wear so i believe that this is going to be a cross between a one stop and a two stop it'd probably be um you know track position could be very important for the really fast drivers some people may risk a two stop if you don't qualify so well you could maybe get in after three laps change to some um, fresh set of tires do some fast laps on your own and then mix it up and then we go to the first manufacturer race which is at red Bull Ring, but in wet conditions and again we got 15 laps remember this is going to be a lot slower in the full wet conditions um, especially in race room with fuel on board and that's going to be a, probably again another race of around 25 to 30 minute distance and yeah, probably more around 26 to 27 minutes in length but again this is what we wanted in fia races slightly longer more you know i don't know about strategy in that race that could be a simple one stop i'm not too sure how the wet weather tires will hold up but looking at the season you can see we have group um three obviously nurburgring first racing nations then we go to group two at um, blue moon infield then m300 then we have the um dragon trail seaside tracking group one that could be interesting red Bull Ring and group b and then we have super formula at suzuka looking forward to that one that could be a strong one for myself brown's hatching group four group three at bath first enjoyable one final race group one at kyoto plus yamagawa um the long version for the top 16 what will be interesting is i haven't seen yet whether the top 16 race is going to be even longer that could be insane if it's a bit longer maybe like 35 to 40 minute race would be incredible if they did that let's have a little look at the manufacturers championships then we have the obviously first race at red bull what we've seen then we go to interlagos in group three then we have group four at um, Fuji International Speedway, it's the version without the chicane. Then we have Group 3 at Nürburgring, 24-hour track. I probably do need to learn that if I want to do that track, but we'll see about that. Group 3 at Autodrome Legio Maggior. Then um, after that, I believe after that, it's not known about the track. You see that it's blanked out, so we don't know the track or combination. Then we have Group 4 at Dragon Trail Seaside in reverse. Then we have another Group 4 race at Brands Hatch Indie Track. That's an interesting one. Not one that I've actually seen pop up before. Then we have Group 3 at Kyoto Driving Park. Um, Yamagawa, um, the full version again. That's an interesting one. Then the final race at Monza. So you're going to want a power car for this season if you want to do well in that final top 16 race, I would predict. Um, so next up, let's have a little look at what car I've actually decided to go in the FIA Manufacturers Championship. And... We pretty much determined this yesterday. I've decided to go back to a car that I have been before, a car that I know how to drive in general. The Group 4 car, I do suffer a bit with tie wear on the fronts, um, but I'm sure we can make that work. It's probably better than the Mustang. But the Group 3 car is a car, car I really enjoy driving, and it might not be the strongest for the track combinations that are on for this new season, but I think it should be able to serve us well, um, serve me well in terms of getting more more out of what my abilities are in terms of the way I like a car to handle. I just feel stronger in Porsche. I feel like I can get um, closer to the maximum out of that car. So we're going to go Porsche, and we're going to probably stick with Porsche for quite some time now in the FIA season. But, you know, let's, let's give Polyphony some massive massive credit for these new settings you know i have been going on about this multiple streams multiple videos i've mentioned we need i even did a survey and i'm wondering if this survey could have had something to do with the um new race length as well because we did a survey on twitter um not well, it must have been a few months ago three four months ago 
ask him what sort of race this clip wanted uh, between the current races, 10 to 15 minutes, and then it was uh, 15 to 20, 25 to, uh, sorry, 20 to 25, and then 25 to 30. And the most popular was, uh, I believe it was 25 to 30, and then 30 and over, sorry, I think was the other one. So it seems they've gone for that common ground of between 25 and 30, which was very popular on my Twitter vote, which hopefully adds some influence in bringing these more strategic races back into Gran Turismo and I know I like I said I, I did go on about this a lot and it was I'm obviously quite passionate about Gran Turismo and I, I believe that these longer races would one bring a lot of people back into this game two it would make for more strategy involved I think we could be seeing some races with one stop two stop variations um, depending on whether you're good on tyres so people like Lightning might go for that one stop look after his tyres keep track position other people might go for a two-stop more aggressive approach, put some pressure on these people that are going for the one-stop. It could really mix up the FIA races, and I think they're going to be really enjoyable. I'm, I think that this is what this game needed. We needed longer races. I think it's going to be more enjoyable for the viewers as well, especially if you don't qualify so well, because we now have races of up to 30 minutes in distance. Consistency, consistency is going to be massively important for these races now it's going to be really vital that you keep your consistency don't make errors because you know long races it's all about keeping a nice consistent pace and um, qualifying is going to be less important like i say so if you qualify at the back of the grid say p um 18 to maybe p 15 around that area there's still possibilities available in the race in terms of getting into that top 10 because you have strategy available now we have possibly two stops maybe like for the for example the first nation race that i've seen there it may be possible to if you're stuck in traffic say you're p18 you're stuck behind cars and you just you haven't got the pace to get past in terms of acceleration and straight line speed but you know you're faster go in the pits lap three then put a fresh set of tires on give yourself a nice bit of clean air and um, maybe get right back up to that car say like as, as they pit get ahead then and then extend that sin to the same lap nine, pit again, fresh tyres, you've already worked your way up the grid a bit, um, come out maybe a bit further up, and then you've got fresh tyres at the end when people may be starting to struggle a bit on their tyres. It, it could really open up the strategies, and I cannot wait to see how this season is going to go. Um, hopefully this is going to continue for multiple seasons. Let's see how it goes. So, you know, we can't judge how these races are going to be until we've done them. I, for one, um, think it's going to be much more entertaining for one, the viewers, um, two, if you don't get a perfect qualifying lap, like I say, it's going to give opportunities to drivers. It's not all going to be decided in qualifying now, and that is the key thing for me. You know, these races are going to be 30 minutes long, so as, if you've got good race pace and you can get past people and do some overtakes, you're going to possibly see um, some people coming up through the grid. I mean, it could really, it could be so much fun to watch some of these races back and um, can't wait for it to happen. Another thing, obviously, is these new settings possibly could help the general um i want to say cleanliness the you know the way the the drivers approach these races this is because on our the old races we were doing that were mainly like say eight to ten laps uh, you know if you qualify bad you had to do some very aggressive overtaking to make any sort of progress in the race and it led to some very irrational driving like drivers diving from too far back not really thinking about how they're doing their overtaking and maybe these new settings will make people drive a little bit more tactically. You know, maybe they'll hang back from doing you know overly aggressive moves, and we might see a lot cleaner racing in general. And that's what I'm hoping these settings will do. Because you've got, if you've got 30 minutes to make a move on, say, say you qualify P3, but you need the win. You know, some people will dive the first lap. They'll go for that overtake if it's a standing start, and they'll try and get themselves into the lead straight away with little consideration for other drivers uh, especially the lower down you go on the tiers you know hopefully this i mean it's not guaranteed uh, there's probably still going to be some really bad driving i'm not going to deny that but hopefully in general um people's driving might take a, a turn for the, the better people might start considering you know, especially when they get realized that these races are 30 minutes long and they will not be won on the opening few laps it could generally improve the overall race craft of, of people in these races and i can't wait to see how it goes anyway this video is just to update you on that i'm really happy with it. you can tell probably by uh, my voice how excited i am for this new season in fia back in porsche races that are more than 10 minutes long 12 minutes long this could possibly be probably one of the best seasons so far, judging by these things. But anyway, another area that I'm not too sure on what they could have changed in is with regards to fuel burning and distance in qualifying. I don't know how we're going to be running these settings yet. I have had a look on in the in-games um, 
the race details but I can't find anything to do with qualifying I'm not sure how you find that out so if anyone does know about the qualifying that's going to be run whether it's still the same structure or anything like that please leave that in the comments and let me know I can't find anything yet as I've looked online I've looked in the race details and it doesn't seem to be showing anything about that but hopefully I'm really praying that they've gone to some sort of um, even if they've made qualifying 15 minutes long but then got rid of the fuel burning somehow it'll be interesting how they would have done it or if they're going to bother to get rid of the fuel burning or if they're just going to leave it on there um, maybe maybe we'll see as the um, the first race maybe that's how we're going to find out on the first race how long the qualifying will be I mean looking at the race duration we have a 60 minute duration for the race which with a 30 minute race would kind of makes me think there's going to be a 3 minute warm up and a 15 minute qualifying it should be interesting how that works but anyway, I'm going to leave you with um, that for today. It's just a quick update with regards to the new FIA setting. I hope a lot of people are very happy and they'll get back involved with this FIA series. This could be one of the best seasons in a long time and really enjoyable races. I really hope that this continues for the rest of 2020 or so. Anyway, thanks again for watching this video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Leave any comments in the comment section. I'll try and um, reply to as many as possible. And also, if you can answer the question that I asked, I'll be really grateful. Anyway, thanks again for watching, everyone. I'll be back very soon. Bye, everyone.